Hello, I'm uh, Ismail again. I have a new video uh, while we are figuring out what's the best motor for my e-car. Now we are starting uh, to develop my black box powering the AC motor. Our uh, demo here is quite big motor. Eighteen point five kilowatt and wired wired into four eighty volts in a Y connection. You can see here this is the terminal of the Terminal 1, Terminal 2, and we use capacitor. So it means we are only using two wires and we just put some capacitor in series on the other, the third terminal. Here is just uh, a clip just to show you. We will run this motor in a very low current. Although this motor rated for to 20 volts, something like 150 ampere and 60 ampere on or on 220. Here is written a uh, 75 ampere so we just for just testing the the main thing why I need to test this motor and this is the first time is to make sure that we can control the rpm the rpm of this is quite high something like 1800 rpm so the main point of my design here first design To use an AC motor for electric car is how I can low speed the motor at the same time stop and go continuously to make sure if this is really will give a high current every time it started although there is no load but uh, just to show that I can slow speed the motor without over overheating the, the this coil winding of the motor and here uh, this bank of batteries is for my testing on any experiment for DC motor so here's how it looks there is no wire outside except this one this is my controller capacitor so you can see the capacitor we will use is just uh, this is in series is less than uh, 18 microfarad in series this is 60 microfarad and series to 3 so it's less than uh, 20 micro something like 20 microfarad but but that's the initial test and the coil is quite small the other coil on the other side so just for testing this is the, like what we call it still on infancy so here, no connection here. Okay. Uh, later on, once we put some torque power here, we will use this kind of capacitor. This is uh, 3,300 microfarad, 450 volts, several, a lot. It will be something like 10 pieces of this later on. But since we are on the initial test of this to, to know how we can low speed this big motor without giving us a lot of current to the input of the terminal of the motor okay we, we can start now mm -hmm. okay
vibration you can hear is from the plywood. Here. From the coil. And that's my antenna. You can stop. You can notice there is no inverter, converter except just the battery. Later on this will reduce. This is a 220, 240 volts, 260 volts battery in series. So later on this will reduce to uh, something like five pieces of battery. But the good things here on my first design, initial testing of this very big motor is I made it run without using an inverter just from the ambient since the ambient uh, is an AC form of wave why not run the the big motor even more so I have here here as well uh, the small motor later on this is part of our testing and this one will be our will reduce the bank of battery into two pieces battery only but that will be on the next uh, stage of uh, testing but at this time I'm quite happy that we able to run at this very very big motor look how big it is so big really big and yet we run it in a very low current and the good thing at low speed it did not go very high so Now we will uh, make some several testing today and tomorrow and the following day maybe I'll give you the next video but at this time what we can show is just running a motor low speed without overheating without giving a high current on starting from off to starting and uh, So that's all, uh, see you next time again.